Alhambra Hotel stands high over Ventnor's seafront, enjoying impressive views over the bay. It has a modern, minimalist style, and the hotel's aim is to combine good service with quality ingredients in a friendly and informal environment. Chef Patron Robert Thompson arrived at the hotel in the summer of 2008. Even at the age of 25, he'd already received a number of top awards. In less than six months, Robert's flair has brought prestige to the Hambra by being awarded the island's first Michelin star. Obviously the guide was leaked early, so the restaurant manager just came and said to me, have you seen this on the computer? And we just stared at it thinking, no, oh, this, this must be last year's, or, but then the Hambra was in red as a new star. Even now you're thinking, well, hold on a minute, Ventnor's never ever had a star before you've sort of overcome supplier issues in terms of people said, oh, it'd be difficult to get supplies to there because you've got the ferry and other things. It's a big thing for me. If, if I'm honest, this is the first time of, of what I've actually felt the Michelin really because to put the star in within six months is really going to boost us because now hopefully people will say, oh, there's, something's happening over there and they'll come and give us a chance. The biggest point is bringing people here and showing them what we do and hopefully then they can see yeah, you know, it's worthwhile, a special occasion going there. Robert firmly believes that the best cuisine can only come from using the finest and freshest ingredients. If you've not got good ingredients to start with, they're never going to be anything different on the plate. Even this morning, you know, I've just been to Godzilla Organics and brought back in you know, a box of you know, leeks, like organic leeks, carrots, um, organic eggs, different things like that. The best thing for me is sourcing these ingredients so I can go down to the haven and buy lobsters, crabs just out of the water. They've not been sitting on a the dock, they've not been travelling from Scotland to here, you know, they're, they're fresh. It's not necessarily means that everything has to be from the island. I certainly, I, I don't say that to any customer. What happens in winter when a lot of you know, a lot of produce is not not about? You've got to go further afield sometimes. But the most important thing is that as, as a chef is that you utilise as much as possible. You know, don't compromise on quality. But if there's something near you which is you know, the best, you use it. Simple as that. So where does Robert actually start in the creation of an award-winning and imaginative menu? If I was to just say, right, I'm going to come up with a menu, it would take you know, a huge amount of time if I didn't have a starting point. So I'll first of all make myself a starting point on each dish. You say what's in season. So you say, OK, this time of year, you know, it's, it's winter, you know, the things that you've got root vegetables, you've got venison, you've got, you know, there's so many things each season which are, which are at the best. So you take venison and then you sort of pick out maybe two other ingredients that you want to match it with and then start thinking, keep it simple and, you know, put like a nice technique in there, maybe a little twist, something to bring the customers back again. going out and actually talking to the customers and seeing what they think of it. And if you get maybe the same comment from a couple of customers which is saying, didn't, you know, didn't quite think that, that went, well, don't go back in the kitchen and, and sort of say, oh, I don't know what they're talking about. Actually try and understand it. Use it to your advantage. I cook in the kitchen all, all the time. We're open five days a week and those five days I'm in the kitchen. I like to be behind the stove, actually getting stuck in. I like to taste every single thing. Hey, Being at Hamburg, there's a lot more that I've taken on. So in terms of looking after the, the whole operation, I'm loving getting involved in that because now that's, that, well, that's what I've always been after, complete control of the whole thing. So I know, yeah, that point needs sorting out. Right, we'll do it and we'll do it properly. But at the end of the day, the customer doesn't see the kitchen. It's got to be every single thing has got to be perfect, from their welcome to the car parking, all, all those sorts of things coming.
key to me, but I've already got a lot of people with me who I know I can trust 100%. And they're the people which are helping Amber already to go round and again as being the place to go. I don't think many chefs can work in this kind of position. Well, they're their own boss really. And that's very exciting. Establish ourselves and now we can really move on. My real ambitions lie in, in, the, in attaining more. My dream is to, is to go for two. Um, we'll see, obviously, very hard to get it. <laughs>